How to use the command box in SCP GUI. This is one of the basic things we all need to learn when we start using SCP. So first, if you're not able to see this box, then you need to change the settings of your SCP GUI. To do this, go to more, save GUI settings and actions, options, and then under interaction design, visualization one, OK code, show OK code field. You need to be sure that this one is checked to be able to see the box. If this one is not checked and you change it, then you need to start a new session to be able to see the changes. The main use of the command box is to go to any transaction code we want. So once you know the transaction code, you can insert it here and it will take you there. So for example, if I say SE16N, so this is a transaction code, enter. Now SEP opened the transaction SE16N. If I want to go back to the main menu, to the user menu, then I can use slash N. Then if I want to go back to the transaction again, I insert the transaction code. If I am inside the transaction and I want to open another transaction, I cannot directly insert the transaction code. So for example, let's say I want to open transaction FB50. If I insert FB50 here, enter, nothing will happen. To be able to open the transaction code from inside another transaction, we have two options. Either we want to open the new transaction in the same screen, in the same window, so we close this one and we open another transaction, or we want to open the other transaction in a different screen, in a different session. In order to open the transaction in the same screen, which means we will close this transaction and we open another one, we can use slash n and then the transaction code without spaces, so slash n fb50. Now the system closed the transaction SE16N and it opened the transaction FB50. Now let's say from inside FB50, I want to open another screen with SE16N. In this case, I will use slash O and then also without space, insert the other transaction code SE16N and enter. Now I have two windows open. So if I check here, I have the general table display, this is the SE16N, and I have integer account document, this is FB50. So now both of them are open. Now let's go into one of these sessions, and let's say I want SAP to close this session and keep all the other sessions open. In this case, I can use slash I, enter. Now SAP closed the session, so if I check, we only have integer account document and the new screen. The third one has been closed. Now let's go to this session. And let's say I want to see an overview of all the sessions that are open with my user ID now. To do this, I can insert slash O, enter. And this is an overview of the sessions that are open. So we have two sessions, one and two. One is session manager menu three display. So this is the main menu, the main menu or the home screen. And then here I have the second one, which is GL account posting. If I want to close any of these sessions, I can go to the session like this, and I can click on delete session. Now SAP closed the session. If we check the ones that are available, we only have one, which is the main menu. The others are closed. The next command that we can use inside any transaction or in the user menu is to start the debugger. To do this, we use slash h. The debugger is something we use to analyze the code that happens in the back end for any action we do in the system. So if I insert slash h enter, I get a message debugging switched on. And now if I do any action, so for example, let's open this transaction FB50. SAP is starting a debugger session, and this shows what is the code that happened because of the action that I did. The last command I will show you is to close all the sessions that are open with your user ID on the device. And this is very important. For example, if you are helping someone at work do something, and then you log in with your user ID on his device, once you finish, it is very important that you insert this command to be sure that you close all the sessions that are open with your user ID on his device. To do this, we use the code slash n e x. Now, before I execute this, let me show you how many sessions I have open. So if I display here, we have one, two, three, four sessions open with my user ID. Once I insert slash n e x and enter, SAP has ended all the sessions that are open with my user ID on this device. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations, configuration materials, and study notes, you can check the channel membership program. You can also check the rest of the playlist here, the next video here, or other interesting videos up there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.